I know who you are. Oh, I got shit. another good one for you. By yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you <laughs> you watch your ass they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Uh, There's got to be something we can do. Lee, do something. He's lost so much blood already. Please, Please hurry up. Get me out. Try to cut Shane. I have to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything. Please. Let's go. Let's go. We uh, have to pass. Time for that. I'm sorry, but we have. Ah! Ah! Oh God! Shit! Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Come on, come on, we gotta move! What the hell are they doing? Come on, oh come my on! God. What happened? Oh, what the hell what are they doing? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Cat. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. 
We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. Look, they're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Look, I can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you're giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up, quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Katja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go.
Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, huh? You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine... I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope you will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry, too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? No, probably not. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well... I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. So who are you people? Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs, when... when everything happened. Relax. 
We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. I know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Back in a bit. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. What's that or the walkers? Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Here. Thanks, Lee. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. 